Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Cataclysm, Dark Days Ahead. Uh, since our last character kind of died, was a bit eaten by zombies, uh, we're going to try another character, a different kind of uh, character, apart from the scientist, the usual intellectual style I usually play in, and that worked fairly well in version 0.3. Uh, in this one, we are going to be playing more of a heavy. I've already... Uh, set up the preset, so I'm not entirely sure if this will work or will fail, but it's worth a shot. So I bumped up strength to kind of extreme levels. Uh, huge base HP, carry weight, uh, and melee damage. I buffed uh, dexterity as well, so it's more of a melee character. Uh, less perception because of that, so guns probably not going to be this guy's specialty. Uh, as for traits, nearsighted, because that's the one I always seem to take. Uh, poor hearing, which I haven't tried before, and that might not go well, but I think it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Trigger happy, because we're not going to be using many guns, and schizophrenic. Uh, it's one I haven't messed with much before. I tried a character that was schizophrenic once, and, like, I saw a message like, your mother, like, or you're being attacked by your mother, something like that, but that was when he was sleeping, so I don't know what goes on there. And also, he's an ugly bastard. But to take care of that, he is quick, uh, so more action points hopefully will help in melee combat. Uh, tough, that uh, boosts his hit points, that's why he's at or 120. Uh, pack Mule, that uh, helps him carry more volume, as well as the weight from the strength, so he should be able to carry a lot. And Fast Learner, so hopefully when he's out beating zombies' heads in, he'll learn a bit quicker about it. And then I took the chain smoker profession, profession uh, excuse me, which basically means you start off with an addiction to cigarettes and uh, a few a pack of cigarettes. But unfortunately, uh, you have no way to light them because uh, matches do not currently work for cigarettes. So it, this guy might go through withdrawals before we find him a lighter. And because of that extra point I got, I put one into mechanics. Uh, mechanics, I found having a point in mechanics really helped uh, in the kind of first day. And I'll show you why in a minute. So that's uh, Samuel Jenkins, will be this, this man's name. Yep, we are finished. And let's see, we've... I can't remember which um, layout a previous guy had, was in. Because I've played a few characters, just kind of like test runs and messing with stuff, and they all kind of blur together. But there's a farm up here. I do actually know it has no vehicles, because I've checked that on some character. And down here we have a city that looks like it's been blown up a bit. Just a little bit. So we'll see what we can do with there. But first, let's do our usual check of the basement. Generally nothing good here, but I found a backpack once, so I like to do a quick... Yeah, let's get some Dayquil. I like to do a quick run and just see... Knit hat. Yeah, let's wear it. Because I usually end up getting cold, even though it's like 70 out. Doesn't make sense to me, but whatever. Oh, yep, so not much there. But what we will do with this guy here is smash this locker to bits with our fists. Well, it's actually taking him a little longer. It's usually a little quicker than that with strong characters. So grab the pipe from that and we will grab a rock from over here. And with those we can craft a crowbar. So I basically just smashing a pipe with a rock until it has a flat bit. It works. So let's create the crowbar drop the rock, and yes, that was the right weapon. Wield the crowbar. And it gives us a really good weapon off the bat, because the crowbar is pretty strong. And it gives us a way to break into houses. Uh, that's fairly silent. Because uh, breaking, uh, prying a door open is much quieter than smashing open a window. I'll just run down the road here. I'm still not sure if 
running, quote unquote, versus walking actually makes a difference. I tend to uh, walk when I'm near uh, in towns, just out of paranoia. So it looks like we spotted our first zombie. That's a little unfortunate. I was hoping to get to like these houses at least first, but hopefully it's just one and we'll be okay. Uh, that's a couple. They have spotted us, of course. And I'm going to go into the forest here to kind of uh, cheat the system a little. One thing that uh, has been really good in my survival and kind of my test runs is getting zombies stuck on bushes or in windows or things like that because they get uh, they move a lot slower and thus you can get like two or three hits in uh, before they can get a hit in with you. And with this guy, he's doing a hell of a lot of damage every time he hits. He doesn't hit that often, but 20 a hit is really nice. Alright, so they are all dead and they had nothing. Yeah, sure, pick the underbrush. I think I need survival in order to actually pick berries. Oh well. So luckily it was just a couple there, but there are zombies in here, I'm guessing. Yep. And see, I'm going to get them stuck on the window. Which unfortunately the smashing might draw more of them. But because they're trying to climb through the broken glass, I can kill them before they actually, you know, get a swing in. And let's pry open the door. Which is nice, because I think strong characters do that much uh, more quickly than weaker characters. So nothing all that great. Cider. I'm not gonna pass up a drink. Uh, I'd rather you break down the window instead of the door. There we go. That's a little stupid of him, but it helped me. Let's see. Cola? Sure. And... Yeah, not much. Cargo pants. That is good. Because at least that adds a little bit of storage. Even though that means we'll have to remove our... Oh, we don't have fancy pants. We just have a uh, dress shirt and shoes, so that's okay. And that just goes back there. That's more zombies. Yeah, with this character, I think I can fight him in the open without too much of a problem. And there's a Tech-9. I wouldn't want to use it because this guy's trigger-happy, but it doesn't have ammo anyway. And not much here. So yeah, that house was a bit of a bust. But we got pants, which is kind of nice. Ah. Typing always goes when on camera. Um, it was a pawn shop, but that's a bit deeper in than I really want to try and mess with. I might kind of work my way over to this house and maybe check out the parking lot if I can. Because that would be really nice if there's a vehicle. Oh, and zombie dog. Alright. Let's get up here and kind of wait. Come on, zombie dog. There we go. Yeah, I think that probably attracts more of them, so it's probably not the best idea. But it allows me to kill them without getting a hit. Like, so far, this guy has not taken one scratch. And that is pretty damn awesome. That might change here soon. But, for the meantime at least picking through the, some of the outer houses, it's good not to take too much damage. Broom, some water, sneakers, yeah, they're really, these houses are pretty crappy. Batteries I might as well pick up, because they are useful if we ever find, if I find a vehicle and a welder, I will need lots of batteries. Uh, bandana. That's good. Helps keep us a little warm. I think I'm wearing it, right? Yeah. And let's check out, I think, yeah, the bedroom behind that dresser. Under the hood, that's great. I love, uh, that's probably one of my favorite books to find. Because, again, I'm obsessed with vehicles. Haven't been able to do much with them yet. 
but hopefully sometime. Okay, cigarettes and eyeglasses. Two things this guy will need. Uh, I think I picked up the eyeglasses. No, I picked up the reading glasses. Screw those. I don't need any reading glasses, I just need those. There we go. And bathroom. Dayquil. Nyquil. More Nyquil. Heat pack, sure. Aspirin. Now eh, we'll leave the bottle. Okay, so we're doing pretty good. I really would rather have much more food and a bag. That would be ideal, but I don't think that's going to happen. But that's okay if it doesn't. There's a bar, but they don't usually have much in the way of food. It's mostly liquor, and that's not that useful. Might be good for boosting morale, but I'm not really interested in doing the mind-altering drugs and uh, drinks when in a zombie apocalypse. Just for, you know, survival reasons. Uh, I saw a zombie here somewhere, but apparently he's not here. Let's close all that. Uh, flashlight. That's going to be nice. And a steak knife. There we go. And is there food? Well, there's a frozen dinner. Might as well eat that, because that's a little heavy. And I can drop the box. And I could drink if I wanted to, but... Nope. Nothing in there. Oh, saw a zombie. That's okay. And there's a lot of stuff. What is that, a helmet? Yes. Cigarettes? Yes. Yep, put it on. And unfortunately, like I was saying before, we haven't found a lighter. So this poor guy can't have a smoke yet. Uh, fingerless gloves? Let's wear those. Uh, what else is there? Uh, cola. Might as well grab it. And I could actually just drink it. Might as well. Drop the can. And let's see what's in the bedroom. More cargo stuff. Nothing that great. But, we're near the parking lot. There might be something there. I'm still hopeful. There's zombies and a motorcycle. Okay. This, this could end well. Because I can just hopefully lure the zombies here one at a time. And just slowly pick him off. And luckily this guy kills him quick enough so I can really take him just one by one really easily. Screwdriver? Eh, might as well. I don't know what it's for. And... yeah. Let's clear that window. I tend not to like clearing the windows too much because it, it, the glass will hurt the zombies a little bit. But I'd rather not get stabbed. Raincoat, that'd be handy. Let's let's wear it. Ah, yeah, why not? Heavy stick. Alright, there's a bit of a crowd there. I think I can lure them back up to the window here. This is a little slow. This is kind of how you have to do a uh, static spawn, it seems like. Because otherwise, you just get overrun like I keep doing. Alright, okay. That's a bit of a crowd but we might be okay. If they don't break the other panel of the window, we'll be great. But if they do, that means they can funnel in a little quicker. Oh, no. We are good. Let's see what... Uh, not much in the way of stuff. But that's okay. What we do have is a motorcycle. And, let's see, the wheel's good. The gas tank is not so good, and it is empty. So, controls. So really, just, it needs a little bit of repair. That could be done. Uh, but the problem is, it doesn't have any gas to move it. So it's a great find, but we need to... I don't know if my spelling's right. I don't really care too much. But we'd really need to find a gas station. Um, 
There's a gun store, clothing store. Now, the gas station is a type of blue, but it's none of those. So unfortunately, I think we might need to leave it here. I will lure a few more zombies. And go back. Okay, that's a bit more than I wanted, but we should be okay. This guy is pretty good at the window uh, zombie slaying. And I don't know if this... Like, the system really works well, but it might be a little... Um, a little bit of a cheat. Like, taking advantage of windows like this. I don't know, I feel like since the zombies kill me all the time, I should be allowed to take, you know, what little advantages I can get. So yeah, nothing in the way of fuel, unfortunately. But... It might run. Uh, grab a grocery store, I didn't realize that. That would be good. Um, it might still run, because sometimes you can run on fumes for a little bit. But I don't know how far it'll get us, and it will make noise. So I think I might try and just leave it here for now. It is marked, I will remember it. And, oh, what's... Oh, that's just a few. Okay, that's the bigger crowd. They might notice. Let's go back to our window. <laughs> just kite them over here, and then beat their skulls in. Yeah, let's wait. I think that other one, yep, he saw. Okay, he took quite a few hits. So I don't think this crowd down here saw me yet. They might have, but it's a small enough crowd that if it does come to it, I can uh, fend them off pretty pretty easily, I think. Yeah, he saw me. Let's just smash this window. I don't usually like doing this. Okay, I didn't get cut. That's good. And let's just kind of wait for them to show up. I think they might be breaking through the other window, unfortunately. So that's not... Wait, you lie down to go to sleep? What? It's a good time to lie down and sleep. You lie down to go to sleep. Oh, God. And so apparently I took a nap. Uh, so that didn't go well. Uh, why did... Exacto knife? Precision attack, huh. I've not messed with that. Let's put on the sweatshirt. Uh, apparently, I'm guessing that might have been the schizophrenia kind of acting up. I don't know, because it's not like he's narcoleptic. He's schizophrenic, so that's weird. Oh, cut on the window. That sucks. Okay, so we're taking a little bit of damage here, but I really needed that advantage for the uh, zombie cop. They have a lot of uh, kind of armor. So this is not ideal, but it's working. What did he have? Eh, nothing. Oh, another one. Okay, wow. I took him down just fine. So maybe I shouldn't second-guess myself with that. And we found ammo, which I will pass on. As nice as it would be, this guy really isn't meant for ranged. And we're getting a little overrun here. Uh, just a bit. But hopefully... They will... Okay, that's a fairly big crowd. Not what I wanted to see. But the window trick will help us. <laughs> it's already... Oh, okay. The window trick doesn't work quite well when they come in from the other side. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, don't jump on the window. Oh, this is... This is going... Ah, stop moving! Ah! The dog keeps moving and I keep jumping through the window after it. Come on. Okay. So, hopefully... Okay, hopefully that horde hasn't seen me. I'm gonna wait for this guy. 
There we go. And yeah, it looks like they haven't seen, so we're okay. And let's just finish leaving this place. Bunch of zombie corpses. Those aren't useful. Caffeine pills? Might be. Especially if we're narcoleptic. Aspirin. Aspirin and vitamins. Vitamins, I don't know if they're good or not. I don't know if they help. But it's not like they're heavy. Alright, come here. There we go. Soldering iron, matchbook. That's nice. I need a friggin' lighter. Because I think... Yeah, we're going through withdrawals. That is not good. I still haven't found a damn lighter. But we'll take some aspirin for the pain, at least. So this has been looted pretty good. And I will pick through that. Oh, cheap lighter! Yes! A lot of cheap lighters. The cheap lighter jackpot, really. Holy crap. So let's have a cigarette. And we are good. Okay, so now that... that um, What's this in face? Now that Samuel Jenkins here has finally gotten his first smoke of the apocalypse, I think that's a good time to uh, call this a video. So I will see you guys next time. And hopefully will last a little longer than two videos.